Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas, and today I've got a quick video to show you how to get the M Audio Oxygen Pro configured with Pro Tools. I'm gonna to assume you've got Pro Tools installed and activated, and I'm also gonna assume you've got the Oxygen Pro connected to your computer with the USB cable, and you've got the controller turned on, and your DAW opened up and ready to go. The other thing I wanted to mention is there's a couple, at least a couple versions of Pro Tools out there. Pro Tools first edition comes free with the Oxygen Pro, and then there's the full paid versions of Pro Tools. Pro Tools first edition, the one that comes with the controller, doesn't support peripherals, which means it's not gonna support the DAW controls on the controller. Kind of a bummer there, maybe that'll change, but at the time of making this video, you're gonna need the full version of Pro Tools in order to use the DAW controls. Pro Tools first edition is gonna work for the keys and the pads, That'll be fine, it's just the dock controls you're gonna be limited on there. The last thing I wanted to mention is kind of a disclaimer. At the time of making this video, the controller works great with Pro Tools. I've had no issues with it in the few weeks that I've been using it. But over time, Pro Tools is gonna come out with new versions and there's no telling whether that's going to break or change some of the functionality that's been programmed into the controller. That's what firmware updates are for on the controller side. So if you come across something that's not working right, send a message to M Audio support and make sure they're aware of it so in the next firmware update, they can fix that and get that in the controller so it's working again. So now that that's out of the way, let's jump into my computer here. I'm gonna switch over to that screen and show you how to get this controller set up in Pro Tools. It's just a couple of really easy steps and hopefully this saves you a bit of a headache if you're trying to figure this out on your own. What we're gonna do is make sure the control is turned on and you'll notice none of the controls do anything inside Pro Tools. If I switch over to my mix view, I've got a track here and the number one knob does nothing to the number one fader. So we're gonna fix that. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your setup menu. Down in the MIDI menu, choose the MIDI input devices and then make sure that the Oxygen Pro 25 and MIDI N 234 are all checked and enabled. You enable them by checking them, make sure they're checked and click OK. That's gonna get the keyboard and the pads sending MIDI messages to Pro Tools. So at this point, if you've got Pro Tools first, that's about as far as you're gonna be able to go. You're gonna be able to play your virtual instruments with the keyboard or the pads. Um, but if you've got the full version of Pro Tools and you wanna set up the DAW controls, go to your setup menu and go to the peripherals option. Over in the MIDI controllers tab, we're gonna to have to choose the HUI as the type, not M Audio keyboard. Don't go with your gut on this one, go to HUI. And in the receive from, go to the predefined menu and choose MIDI in three. In the send to, we're gonna choose the exact same thing except MIDI out three. Channels is, we're gonna leave that on eight, that's our only option there. And we're gonna click okay. That's all you should need to do. Now we can arm the track. You'll see that it arms there. We can play, stop, we can move through. We can use the soft keys over here on the right hand side to switch between our mix and our edit views. And if we're in our mix view, my number one knob now controls the number one fader. Very slick. I have been using this for a few weeks now and it has worked flawlessly. I've had no issues with a controller in Pro Tools, again, who knows with future updates if that'll change, but for now, enjoy. If you've got questions, throw them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Hopefully this saved you some time and was helpful for you in getting your controller set up. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and keep making that music.